hi guys my name is chris and welcome to my channel so today i am going to show you how to add a selling price with profit tax and discounts on your inventory so you can also monitor and track your sales okay so first things first my inventory has four lists and they are items purchase sales and stocks so to add a new price go to the items list and insert seven columns then name this column sales price and the rest will be the profit tax and discounts then change the format of these columns into a percentage so right click then format cells and choose the percentage so i don't like my percentage to have a decimal so i'll turn this to zero then click ok so for example i will add a 20 percent profit then a five percent tax and i'll give a two percent discounts so to calculate the profit, tax, and discounts percentages, multiply your base price to your desired percentage. So I'm going to start here in the profit. So the formula is base price times this profit percent. The same also with the tax, base price times tax percent. And also for the discounts, base price times discounts percent. Now to get your final selling price, the formula is base price plus profit, then plus the tax and minus discounts. So from the base price of 480, the selling price now is 590. Then drag down all these formulae. These columns are not fixed. If you want to add or edit the profit and other percentages, you can change them here. So this is how it works. And once you're done adding the new information, you have to name this range, but do not create a new name if you're just editing your inventory. Instead, use this existing name here and this range name is items. So we will use this and extend the range. So from here, we will extend this up to here. So to do that, go to the name manager and it will take you to the list of name range you created. Then select the name range and click edit this is the current range see this glowing box here so to extend this range up to here remove first this old reference then replace it by highlighting the new range then click ok and close this so to check if the changes apply, highlight the range again, and there you go, the selections are now items. Now that your price is ready, apply this in your sales list. So go to your sales list, and here in the price column, use a VLOOKUP function. So it calls VLOOKUP, 
open parentheses, then your first code here, then comma, then go to the items list, and add the range which is at the items, then comma, then the column number of the sales price. So the price column number is 11, add 11, then comma, then add false, and hit enter. Next, this is optional. You can add this formula to hide your NA when your lookup value is empty. If, then open parenthesis, then is blank, open parenthesis, and your first code, then close parenthesis, then comma, then double quotes, then comma, and at the end of your formula, add another close parenthesis, then hit enter. Then drag down this formula. You can also add one more column here for your product remarks and for the formula, use lookup function. So VLOOKUP, open parenthesis, then your lookup value is your first code here, then comma, then go to your items list and add the name range which is at the items, then comma. Then the remarks column number, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the remarks column number is number so the remarks column number is 12. Add 12, then comma, then add false and hit enter. Then drag down this formula. And you're done. So this is now your selling price. And this is how it works.